what is up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is lauren and i typically like to upload videos on speed cleaning amongst other videos such as renovation updates on our first home as well as lifestyle and travel vlogs in today's video i'm going to be tackling my under sink kitchen cabinet which as you can see looks like this very unorganized everything's kind of just thrown on top of each other and i would really like to get it in some kind of organized state if you like these kind of speed clean organization videos it would mean the absolute will to me if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up so here's a more in-depth look at my cupboard as you can see we've got some dog food some kitchen roll all the cleaning utensils all the products that i tend to use whilst cleaning we've got some sponges just in a bag we've got a bit of everything just piled on top of each other you can see that the bottles aren't even stacked up properly they're just lying on the side or even upside down it's just really unorganized So the first thing I wanted to do was find some baskets or kind of storage containers to put some of the products in. As of today's date, which is the 10th of May, we are still currently in a lockdown. So I couldn't just pop to the store to buy some new baskets or containers. So I had to find some containers in the house, which I wasn't using anymore and give them a bit of a clean. I did have five containers which were lying around ready to be disposed of. They were looking grubby so I did give them a wash with some washing up liquid and some warm water. I gave the containers a quick dry before removing everything out of the cupboard, ready for a blank start. So here I'm just removing everything from the cupboard, deciding what I want to keep, what I want to throw out, if there's any rubbish that can go in the bin or the recycling and if there's any things in the cupboard which don't need to be in there that can be put elsewhere.
okay so this is pretty much everything i want to put back into the cupboard uh we've got all sorts i've got five of those plastic caps which we put the laundry detergent in don't need to keep any of those just removing the sponges from the plastic bag which can be disposed of And I want to give this space a bit of a clean before I organise everything back into the cupboard. As you can see the shelf is lying at the bottom of the cupboard. It will go up eventually but I didn't want to bother Darren and ask him to get his tools out on a Sunday. I just give the base and the shelf a quick wipe down before spraying it with some Astonish Antibacterial Cleanser. I was playing around to see if I can move the dog food anywhere else in the cupboard but I couldn't, unfortunately. We don't have as many plastic bags anymore, you know, trying to help the planet and everything, but I did need to tidy them up, so I'm just refolding them to put them back in the container. So I saw this hack on Facebook, sorry I don't know who the original poster was otherwise I would credit you but I don't so I'm sorry. But I thought this was such a fantastic hack and a great space saver for plastic bags. I thought it would be great just to throw in how to fold a plastic bag. So I'm filling this basket with sponges and cloths. And now I'm going through the products I typically use most often. We've got a bit of elbow grease, some Fabulosa, some pink stuff.
you'll probably notice some products that don't look familiar it's because they're from Lidl and it's Lidl's store brand products Now I'm going through the products which I don't necessarily use on a daily basis but they need to be in good reach. I'm terrible for remembering to pick up some kitchen roll when I'm out shopping so I decided to grab myself a bag of six which I am just putting underneath the sponges. I'm putting away all the bin bags in this little white container because bin bags for some reason are the only thing I cannot find in an unorganised cupboard. And now I'm just putting away any of the spare products or the duplicate products just at the back so I don't need to reach them too easily. Getting rid of those plastic caps. We are done. I now have a nice organised under sink kitchen cabinet. Everything's in easy reach that needs to be in easy reach and everything's a lot more cleaner, organised, tidier. It's just a lot more refreshing. Even Dallas is impressed.
you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video bye